<laughs> oh shit. <laughs> oh, fuck that up straight away. <laughs> <laughs> so you've been given an elephant. You can't give it away or sell it. Right. What would you do with the elephant? I can't give it away or sell it. What would I do with the elephant? <laughs> so I've got an elephant. Yep. So I can't I take it back to Africa. No, no, you can't give it away and you can't sell it. So what? it's like just sitting in my yard. Yeah, it's like a pet, I guess, that you can't get rid of. Right, okay. What would I do with it? Um I'd probably use it for like towing things. <laughs> animal, animal, animal like slave labour. Yeah, I'd use it for I'd use it for like towing things and just yeah? and just riding. I'd, I'd take it on like for example, if my parents are going on the New Year's Day walk, I take it. I like. I just sit on the elephant, on the elephant and just yeah. let it do all the walking for me. <laughs> I mean, don't be wrong. If you have an elephant in your back garden, that's another TikTok series all on its own. Yeah, and that would be that would exactly yeah. a TikTok views. Yeah, no, that'd be brilliant. Just your elephant standing next to Boris. Yeah, mate, that'd be that'd be a dynamic duo. Right. So, what is the biggest success you've had on your channel? Well, I think that's easy to answer. <laughs> the shitbox series, obviously. Yeah, definitely. Like that. I mean. That, that kind of idea, I mean, it was one idea, little idea that I had at uni and I thought, wouldn't it be so funny if I just got the worst car possible mm -hmm. and then just made my followers pick the modification and it would just be a right laugh. And it was just like, it would turn out completely stupid as it has, but it was just so funny and good entertainment. Did you think it would get to where you got to? Oh, Obviously, I didn't think it would. I just, thought, involved, it, I just thought it'd be a good, good kind of fun thing to do. And the thing is with it is that now it has done so well. Yeah. It's like, fuck, I've got pressure to actually yeah. post it now because I know that's what a million people are wanting. You know, that's what they they they, they wanted when they click the follow button. They were like, I want to see more shitbox series, which yes. is calm. And I want to I want to post it, but it's always an issue of money, which is fine. Like I'm trying to I'm trying my best to kind of fund it with with the. Uh, like, yeah. How's that going? Um, yeah, the merch has gone really well yeah. actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's actually done. It's done well. And it's helped out a lot. So, like, with, with the shitbox series, I've got companies vying to get in. Like, oh, really? So many, so many of them in my DMs like, oh please, like let us do next one on Boris. And yeah, then I'll, in return, I'll, I'll give them a bit of exposure. Yeah, of course. And they'll give me a discount or even do it for free. So. Right. The next question was, what do you think of garden gnomes? What do I think of garden gnomes? <laughs> God. Um, Garden gnome. Garden gnome. Yeah. Honestly, wouldn't rock a garden gnome myself. I'm no? being brutally honest. I think they're a bit odd. <laughs> I mean, I just think that you know they've, they've got like an e they've got like an evil spirit to them, aren't they? Kind of, kind of creepy. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I get that. So you a creep, more of a creepy thing. Yeah, creepy. It's a, little, it's a little bit like dolls. Yeah. Yeah. Personally, I find them tacky. Yeah. I think they're tacky as fuck. Yeah. So I'm not a fan. What of would you say is the number one key to success? Now, I think they're talking about TikTok. a TikTok channel. Yeah. I've got some very good tips for this actually. Now, the first thing I'd say is be persistent. Don't look at the numbers because what's going to happen on TikTok is you're going to have one video that gets like 600k yeah. views and one that gets like 10k and not your 5k and, and you're going to be like, what? I did I did a video <laughs> that was like even worse and I got 600k. Yeah. Like why, why am I only getting 5k on this video? So that's the first thing I'd say is don't look at the numbers and just be persistent. Second thing I'd say is pick a niche. You know, if you've got if you've got a, like a, a kind of an idea for a channel, don't like for example, I like the gym and go to the gym and yep. keeping fit, but I don't include that in my TikTok because, like, it would be confusing and, and, and splitting my audience and people wouldn't be no wouldn't kind of know what they're there for. So that's why it's purely cars. So that's that's kind of my niche. Obviously, it's purely cars. Um, and then, obviously, apart from be persistent. The only other thing I'd say is when you're actually making your videos, the first five seconds are the most important, yes. and then and and the last kind of five seconds as well. And the reason why is the first five seconds is the hook. Mm -hmm. You've got to get them involved. Oh yeah, I'm interested in this video for the first five yeah. seconds. And then what you have to do is the last five seconds or the last ten seconds is give them a result, and that's important yeah, give for them my reason. content exactly. Is it's like if they've watched the whole video and you've given them nothing, and it's like, it's like fuck you, like you've just wasted like <laughs> sixty seconds yeah. of my life. And that's what I didn't want to do. I was like, I'm going to give them a really satisfying end to the video yeah. so they're going to want to come back. And that was literally what I did. So did the shipbook series. I proclaimed what mod we're doing. That got everyone involved. And then at the end, we showed them the mod and they were all happy. Yeah. And then they were like, oh, this is it. Let's do it. Like, yeah. I'll watch the next one. And now you completed that series. Yeah. Yeah, no, so yeah, it's definitely good advice. Yeah, so that's, that's the kind of three points. Because it can be good. very disheartening, TikTok. You know, you yeah. can one day, like for example, me, I'm driving down the road and I've come up with an idea, just yeah. off the top of my head, film it, put it on TikTok, blows up. Yeah. And then I spend the next day spending hours trying to think of good content, write something down, film it, does shit. You just, you can't plan how it's gonna go. Yeah, that's the thing. And I feel like, I feel like it's, 
that's the kind of what makes someone successful is getting through that kind of mm-hmm. fuck I've just had a video that's done like 5k views yeah. 10k views or something and it's like I mean a lot of people would be really happy with that kind of con- with that kind of engagement and honestly I was when I was back at 50k do, yeah. my aim was to get 10k per video I was like if I can get 10k that's good like you know just because it gets like the you know you get the k in the views mm-hmm. and it's like okay that's sick so I was like that was my my aim and that's actually for, you know for someone of a channel size that's slightly smaller that's pretty good mm-hmm. pretty good engagement obviously you will have your occasional viral video you know yep. that one just blows up, blows up um, that's where your that's new followers come from that's exactly your, mm-hmm. your new followers will come from the viral ones and then your regular videos like your 10 15 20k videos that'll be for your regular followers that just watch it so I think now we've uh, we spoke about you Jack and we spoke about Boris a lot I think it's about time we had to go see Boris yeah yeah. <laughs> I mean, you should have a drag race down this road. <laughs> oh, you'd lose, mate. <laughs> oh, but well, I would, yeah. So here is Boris. <laughs> Look at it. There's Jack. How much horsepower did you say this thing is? 1,000. 1,000, fuck it out. You understand, like, yeah. if there's like loads of them giving me tension, I'm like, oh god, just like I just want to chill. So I, sometimes I'll um, I'll just go in the MR2, which is a lot more kind of low key. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like you know, because this, this car does go under a lot of attention. So what I'll do is I'll just go in the MR2 to uni, mm-hmm. um, and that's kind of like a that's like a good like low key car I can go in. Um, and then yeah, this thing stays at home most of the time. Oh, the Lois Agdiz over there, that's my dream car. Which one? Lois Agdiz. Oh, over there, yeah. Yeah, let's see if we can catch it up. policeman and I saw this car I'd pull it over you, you just you just assume that something's gonna be wrong with it like you're gonna catch them out somewhere what are you uh, currently gonna wrap trees in yellow yellow yeah Ooh. yellow and that'd be quite nice actually yeah yellow and black yellow and black racing stripes That's fair enough would you consider a second account um, I have a second account. Oh, you do? Well, okay. But it's for cars. What's, what's that one called? Uh, Jack Manil Second. Okay. Yeah, so I'd, I'd, um, I'd just do cars on there as well. Oh, fair enough. Alright, so we're going to wrap this up here. Uh, anything you want to plug before we shoot off? Maybe something you're wearing? Anything I want to plug? Oh yeah, go and check out the merch. <laughs> Shitboxmerch.com um, Obviously, check out the YouTube JMC and obviously, you know, the TikTok Jack McNeil. Uh, cheers to Boris. Yeah, man. Here's Boris. <laughs> <laughs>